Answer quickly, which of these folders is most important? How about now? In this video, we go all out to customise our Windows folder icons. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will change the colour and design of individual Windows folders, a feature still sadly lacking in Windows 10. To achieve this, we will download a free third party utility, Folder Painter. We open our browser and head to the link shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. Ignore the temptation to hit any start now buttons, which are misleading advertisements, and scroll down further beyond sponsored searches, license and file details, until we reach the download button. Clicking it downloads a small zip file, which we click and opt to show in folder. Once in our downloads folder, we right click and select the option to extract all, accepting the default location, which unzips to our downloads folder. Opening the extracted folder, we note that there are both 32 and 64 bit versions, with the 64 bit version identified via its x64 demarcation. Running the application triggers user account control, and we click yes to continue. As this is a portable app with no installation phase, we are immediately taken to the main program window, and we close all browser windows in order to purely focus on the app. To better understand the interface, let's look at where we're heading. The output of the program is a customizable context menu entry, here labelled Change Folder Icon, which is used to change a selected folder from the default to one of 14 pre-designed alternatives. Returning to the main interface, we can see that the context menu item name can be changed, and the context menu can contain multiple instances of Folder Painter, allowing two or more icon sets to be simultaneously available. To activate a second context menu item, we simply select it in the left panel, then click Install. Returning to our File Explorer window, and right clicking on any folder, we now see two Change Folder Icon entries, each of which links to a different set of icons. Here, we've changed the context menu name to Alternative Icons to demonstrate the effect upon the context menu, and we now see that each entry has a distinctive name. Of course, we aren't purely limited to colour changes, and the folder icons can be entirely redesigned. We are given the opportunity to download 21 icon packs, containing 294 icons from the developer. Head back to the download page, click the painted folder icon, which takes us to a file storage site, where we click to download a further zip file. Again, we opt to show the zip file in folder, where we click extract all, accepting the default installation location. The archive contains a single icons directory, which in turn contains the icon packs. Here is a brief preview of the icon packs, which we've numbered for ease of reference. Pack 13 looks useful, let's use it to distinguish our sample folders. We've reset the folders to default. We start by giving the context menu an appropriate name, and therefore label it Office Folders. As we are dealing with Microsoft Office documents, we select the icon from the icon pack which represents the Microsoft Office suite. We navigate to the downloaded pack 13, and open it, scrolling down to select icon 14. Now our context menu is appropriately labelled, and pictorially represented, let's also change its folder icons. We rename the blue directory, labelling it Word Documents. Then we select an appropriate icon, this time selecting icon 2 from the same icon pack. Our context menu now has its first entry. Via the magic of YouTube, we can create two more, to accommodate our Excel and Outlook folders. Returning to our example directory, we right click on our letters folder, and we see our office folders context menu entry. Scrolling across, we see the three directory icons created, and naturally select the word folder icon for our letters directory. Now we can easily identify the content type within the folder. Through the magic of YouTube, we apply appropriate icons to two more directories, and we would continue if we so wished, adding further icons to additional directories, or we can simply identify the most frequently used or significant. One more thing, there's absolutely nothing special about the icons used, and we can quite happily use our own. Here, we simply converted our logo to the icon format, then mapped it to the work documents directory. Our question of the day is this. We want to know of any great third party apps you use to customize windows, particularly those which offer functionality which windows does not. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, 
you are very welcome to subscribe to the Tech Fix Flicks YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official Tech Fix Flicks Twitter account. Until your next Tech Fix, goodbye.